I'm Cory with Cory and Jared Photography, uh, creator of Stories with Cory, and today I am hanging out with this crew uh, from the Four Friends Market. And so today we wanted to share a little bit with you about how they got started, their heart for community, and some pretty cool, fun stuff that they have going on in September. So. Uh, tell me a little bit, well, one of the things that we talked about was you guys get asked all the time, are you guys real friends? <laughs> yes. Are you yes. real friends? We are real friends. <laughs> In real life. <laughs> yes. We do the highs, we do the lows, we do all of the children. Lots of laughing. <laughs> Lots of eating. <laughs> Maybe some drinking in there. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. So tell me um, how you guys got started. Um, well, we used to have these late night craft nights at Bree's house where we would have the kids all in bed um, at home with husbands and we would get together sometimes till like 4 o'clock in the morning um, <laughs> eating and crafting and just kind of doing stuff with our hands as we hung out and uh, laughed and cried and um, just kind of created this safe space, safe space to hang out together. Now today we have three of you guys hanging out here. Tell me maybe your names and who we're missing. Okay. I'm Brittany. I'm Mallory. I'm Jessica. And we are missing Brianna, who is awaiting the arrival of her niece in Yay! San Diego. Yeah. Super exciting. <laughs> so you guys started years ago, like just hanging out together. And what did you guys do? I know you ate, you hung out, and you made oh. stuff. We made stuff. And <laughs> um, we kind of we were, a couple of us really had specialty crafts we wanted to do. Like Brie made beautiful bows, and we all had girls, so we figured if we help Brie make bows, we can get bows. Um, we'll work for bows. Yay, yes, for bows. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and um, from there, we just kind of started dreaming. We're like, what would it look like if we opened up like one of our homes to our friends who also make things, and kind of make our own little open house market? And uh, it kind of, we kind of put the word out there and it just grew and it grew. And the next thing you know, we were filling my husband's warehouse <laughs> with it about, was hot. it was hot. <laughs> hot my hot isn't super cool, huh? Oh, no. like, you were actually hot. hot. My hot. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so we had about 26 vendors in my husband's warehouse and um, it was, it, we said it was really hot. No air conditioning. No air conditioning. <laughs> um, but it was just so neat to see something that we dreamed up one night, like to be in someone's living room, to all of a sudden being in a warehouse. We're like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. And tons and of people show up. Sure. <laughs> like, like, we knew we could get vendors, but like, yeah. people came to shop. Yeah, we're like, like oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like I can kind of understand that. Like when you have like this little dream that you start and you start small and you're like, let's see if this idea sticks. Like are people yeah. going to literally yeah. want to hang out with me in the yeah. cottage and tell their stories? Yeah. Like you start small and it's fun yeah. to see how it grows. I think yeah. the night before the market, we were all like, what is going on? Totally. If no one comes, the four of y'all are just hanging out together, right? Me <laughs> and 26 other people. <laughs> You guys have grown through the years and maybe you speak to a couple of vendors that you guys have had with you. Yeah, so it's been a lot of fun because we've been able to um, just watch people grow in their business. Mm -hmm. One of our favorite stories is one vendor who was um, new and just starting out in her business and we, she was a friend of ours so we really encouraged her to come and sell what she had. Um, and through our market, she's told us that she gained a lot of confidence in that and yeah. from that has been able to create this beautiful business that um, just creates workshops where people can come and be together and to learn. We have, we have we have an extra an extra oh, friend oh, hanging out here with us today. <laughs> she's stuck on the couch. Yes, I feel like you just need to like bring her in. Like this is part of real life <laughs> and four friends with and doing life, right? Yeah. Our them to community yeah. right here. Like this yeah. is how we are rolling today. We are excited that you were hanging out with us. So. A lot of our meetings <laughs> take place with random children. Right? Home. Well, yes. not random. They're ours. But. <laughs> to watch this vendor evolve and I mean we didn't create any of the things we didn't um, do any of the hard work we just gave her a place to come and showcase her own beautiful work yeah and since then we've been able to partner with her like she helped us create our logo yeah. and um, it's just been really neat how we've been able to kind of work together yeah. and uh, stuff so it's just fun to watch these vendors kind of grow over time yeah um, we've also had a couple junior vendors 
there was one market where we gave the opportunity for some younger vendors to come um, for free and just showcase whatever it is that they made. Right. Um, and one of our favorites is this young guy who loves to sew. And he was maybe 10 at our first market. Um, and he came and he was such a salesman. And he sews really good stuff. And I think the first market he entirely sold out of mm -hmm. everything he brought. Um, but he's such a salesman. He was out there, he was <laughs> telling people how awesome his stuff was and he was not gonna let you walk away um, without you understanding how amazing this was and you needed it. Yeah. Um, so it was neat to see like his entrepreneurial, yeah. entrepreneurial? You got it. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Spirit um, at such a young age. So it's yeah. nice to be able to even create a place that was safe and welcoming for him to come. Right. And he's come back time and time again just to, with new things and doing the same thing. And it's so it's been a lot of fun just to kind of create this space where people have the freedom to, you know, try and... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you guys can also share the little story of a uh, cute little Mav uh, sharing oh, his yes. succulents. <laughs> <laughs> he was earning, what, what did you say he was He doing? wanted to earn money to buy this Lego set that he yeah. really wanted. Yeah. And so he sold little succulents. Yeah. yeah. In his and mom's he, booth, and he was adorable. And then he sold yeah. out of his succulents. <laughs> yeah. He got his Lego set. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I was saying it too. I mean, I would just give Mavs money for, you know, and you don't even need to give me the succulents. Like, here's my money. You are yeah. so stinky. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I love it. And then you also see people who maybe started in the market but mm -hmm. weren't quite doing it on a regular basis, and you've mm -hmm. seen them grow. And I think mm -hmm. one of the other many yeah, you mentioned absolutely. was Crumbles. Yeah, Crumbles Bakery. Um, so she started, well, she did one of our beginning markets and there she did cookies and granola and stuff and it's neat to have her come back every time and now she's evolved where she does farmer's market all the time and yeah. she does amazing and everybody in the community knows about her cookies because they <laughs> are delicious so good. and you want them. <laughs> and so she's just, so sweet too. Oh yeah, totally. totally. That's awesome. So it's just been neat to watch our relationships with them change and grow but also just their little businesses yeah. to continue to grow. So it started out as four friends hanging out, grew, yeah. mm -hmm. and you guys grew to a new location and then another location yes. and now you guys have kind of landed in this partnership with Domo, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And so what does that look like? I think it created a space for a lot more, uh, I don't know, a lot more involvement, a lot more, um, like we do now have the space to do like big outside games with the kids and there's like, we've always had a little bit of live music, but there's just more space to do uh, fun activities besides just shopping. Much right? more family friendly. Much more yeah. family friendly. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And uh, Domo also has been really good about partnering with us and helping to do some of the workload behind the market so that we can focus on our vendors and having fun and uh, just creating a big space for that. That's awesome. So you shared Jasmine a little bit. Tell me a little bit about like your heart for community. So for us, it is all about community, but you know, we can start with like the four of us as a little community and our vendors as a community and then our shoppers as a community. But one of the things we were talking about is just engaging in that community. And for instance, one of the things we started doing a few markets ago was vendor meetups yeah. and like vendors just coming and you know, some don't come at all and some come and hang out the whole time and chat with us and we get to know them and know their heart and fall in love with them. And it does, it creates a sense of community, a sense of belonging, mm -hmm. you know, where we all know each other. And then at the market, the shoppers, you're running into your neighbors and people from your kids' school and church, and it's just fun. Yeah, absolutely. I think we, we've talked a little bit about how like community is kind of a buzzword, right? Like yes. everyone's talking about it, like it's super trendy. Um, but I feel like you guys have done more than just talk about it. Like you guys are really doing it, like in the four of you, you're doing it on a larger scale with your vendors, and then you're bringing that community to other people and an opportunity to get other people involved. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the other thing about community that's kind of fun is obviously we get to participate in community, um, but you have to show up and you yeah. have to literally invest your own heart to be, Absolutely. it's not just something that you get from a community, right. you literally, what you get is when you are involved in it. We agree well, that community took work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We try to put our money where our mouth is and whenever we can support local. So when we had our logo designed, yeah. we went with one of our vendors. Mm -hmm. Then we had another vendor um, hand carve a stamp and make bags we sold. Another vendor made our Four Friends Market shirts. Mm -hmm. We always have our, uh, what's it called? Our brochures printed mm -hmm. locally. Mm -hmm. And we really just try to, yeah, keep it in our community and support our community. Yeah, absolutely. 
I love that. I love it. I love what you guys are doing. So, Thanks. so you guys have an event coming up. Yes. yes. Tell us yes. about yes. a specific <laughs> event. Uh, September. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, September. Six, six Friday, <laughs> Friday night from six to ten at downtown Modesto will be on Tenth and J Street, so kind of right around the Brendan and Gallo mm -hmm. Center. Um, and we're just gonna fill the streets with vendors and music and food and all the restaurants will be open and kids. Some might be between y'all. Y'all have a lot of kids. Yeah, yeah. And so it's just gonna be a fun event. Um, for families to come hang out, yeah. girls' night. We we've had couples turn it into uh, date night. No. Hint, hint. Just yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Hi, baby. Look at that smile. So stinking cute. Awesome. Well, this is your personal invitation to come yes. hang out with yes. these girls and all of their incredibly talented vendors mm -hmm. um, and all the people that they'll have at the Downtown Modesto event on September 6th from 6 to 10 p.m. Um, and then to celebrate kind of them sharing your story with you, um, they have a fun giveaway. So who wants to, yeah. who wants to share the giveaway? Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to give away 50 a $50 gift certificate to our market. Mm -hmm. So it's as easy as it sounds. You'll win a $50 gift certificate and you'll be able to go and spend it with one of our vendors. And then at the end of the night, we'll make sure it's taken care of. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so we're excited. We want you to come out and shop and enjoy it. And Very cool. Yes. yes. So we will share the complete details of how to enjoy that uh, Instagram giveaway. And we are super excited. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us yes. and giving us a place to share our story. We're excited to be here in your cottage. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm basically, because I just keep saying, like, it just keeps giving me these excuses to hang out with really cool people. We just need our market. A whole reason. Hey, I get it. I get it. Aw, yay, guys. Well, thanks so much. We hope you are encouraged to get involved in community and to come enjoy theirs on September 6th. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Do we keep smiling? Just keep smiling.